Birkenstock Bostons. These things are absolutely everywhere now in fashion. Now, they might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you cannot deny that people are creating some pretty good outfits with these things. But the question is, is there better alternatives out there to those Birkenstock Bostons? And that's exactly what we're gonna try and find out today by reviewing and comparing the Doc Martin Carlson with the Birkenstock Boston. Now, I've had the Doc Martin Carlsons for around about four or five weeks now, and that's given me enough time to really get a feel for them and be able to give a pretty good review. Now, these are made from suede, but you can also get them in leather, but I got the brown suede ones. Now, you can see they've got really thick soles, which is classic for Doc Martin, and they have a wool lining. They also have that classic yellow stitching throughout and a slightly molded heel. Now, they also do have the four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive capabilities, which I found really helpful throughout my use of them. Now, as for sizing, I got mine in an EU43 or a US10, and they do fit true to size, so these guys are a little bit small for me. Unfortunately, they are completely sold out of EU44s, which is my regular size, but that is the exact same with the Birkenstock Bostons at the moment. You are really struggling to get them in a popular colorway in a common size. As for breaking them in, I didn't find like I had to break them in much. They were pretty comfortable right from the get-go, but I've heard other people have to break them in, so maybe two or three days at the most to break them in. Now, when I first got mine, I sprayed them with suede protectant just because I didn't want them to mark or stain. And unfortunately, they still did. They still get scuff marks, they still get spill stains. So if you are purchasing them, just remember it's suede, so it will mark. But with the suede protectant, it should wipe off quite easily and the scuff marks should come out if you use the correct cleaning method. Now, as for styling them, I found it a little bit difficult when I first got them to make an outfit just because I'm not used to wearing mules and styling them, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but I found that they are best styled with trousers that aren't cropped and sort of cover your heel, which was a little bit of a pain in the ass for me because most of my pants are cropped, but I am sort of changing my style a little bit and getting those longer trousers now. Also, I think that these look absolutely bizarre without socks on, so I would suggest definitely getting some good socks that look nice, not with holes or marks on them, because you will be able to see them at the very back. And that brings me to my next point of, they are super warm. They're, they've got the wool lining, and if you're wearing socks, it's summer down here in Australia at the moment, and it gets really sweaty in there. It's, it's pretty gross. I, I think that they're probably best suited for a winter autumn sort of outfit where your feet can get a little bit chillier. I found that if I wear them at night, they're not too bad. But yeah, definitely during the day, they are an absolute no-go for me. But overall, I find them super comfortable and I really like the aesthetic of them. I think I just have to find how to style them better a little bit but overall, a really good shoe. Now, to start comparing these to Birkenstock Bostons, before we get into comparing the Docs to the Birks, I'd just like to put a disclaimer that I don't actually own a pair of Birkenstock Bostons. I've tried a few on, and I just haven't made the purchase yet, but I've done a lot of research on it, so I feel like I can give a pretty good, honest comparison between the two. Now, the Burks are an all year round mule, I think. They don't have the wool lining, so you can wear them with warmer socks during the winter, and spring and summer, you can either go barefoot or thinner socks. Now, Burks, I think, probably look a little bit better with socks, but I feel like it's not as much of a sin to wear them without. I don't know, I think just the wall lining really warrants socks for the docks. Socks for the docks. Also, another thing for the Burks is that they come in so many different colours and different materials, whereas the docks only come in the suede or the leather that I know of, and only a limited amount of colours. Now, because they come in a few different materials, I think that they probably won't stain as easily as the docks, because you can get the oil slicked suede, I believe it's called, with the Burks, so any stains or spills will just fall right off. Now, I think that they both give off really similar vibes. They're both mules, so they are gonna give off a very similar vibe, but I think that the Burks do give off a little bit more of a summer vibe if you're looking for that, or if you're looking for a bit more of a cooler vibe, I'd go for the Docs. Now, for the verdict of which is better and which you should buy. 
So to begin with, let's start with price. The Doc Martens come in at 220 Australian and the Burks come in at 260 for the more popular versions of them. Now there's not too much difference in pricing between them, so I don't believe that it would come into your decision, but if it does, Burks are more expensive. Now I think the Burks are more versatile with the seasons and with styling. I think that because you've got so many different colors to choose from, you can choose one that suits your wardrobe the best. But I also believe that the docks are more sturdy and they will probably last longer than the Burks because of that thick sole and the overall build quality of Doc Martens in general. But which one do you buy? So I think that you should probably buy the Burks at the end of the day. I think they're the most versatile. I think that you can choose the better color that suits you. But if you can afford it, I think you should cop both. I think that they're both really good mules in their own right and I think that you'll get way more wear out of them both if you can sort of choose which season to wear them in. Now for me, I know that I'll probably be copying a pair of Burks pretty soon once they are available and that's another point as well. I would say that availability is a massive issue for both of these. Like I couldn't find a pair of Burks that fit me or a pair of Docs that fit me and that's an issue and something that you should take into account. You might have to wait maybe four or five months before they've got them in stock again. Now, I've picked that number of months out from nowhere, so don't quote me on that, but it could be a really long time before you get them. So just take that into account as well. If you're looking for them, I would suggest sitting on them and waiting for your correct size to come in because if you don't and you get ones that are a little bit small like mine, they might just be that little bit more uncomfortable. Now, if you found that useful, go check out my other video where I spent 1,500 hours in some RM Williams. And I'll catch you next week with another video.